Senator Josh Hawley has been speaking with these whistleblowers, and he joins us now. Senator, what have these whistleblowers been telling your office? Well, what they've been saying, Jesse, is that this individual, the site agent, the lead agent, was known to the Trump campaign to be inexperienced, to be ineffectual, to be, frankly, incompetent at their job. Well, I'm also told by whistleblowers that on that day, she was not enforcing the normal security protocols. She was not checking people's IDs. She did not use Secret Service agents. Most of the agents there that day were not Secret Service agents. They were Homeland Security agents. And get this, Jesse, most of them had never worked a rally before. Oh, and yet God. this is who she chose to staff the event with, and she didn't train them or integrate them from top to bottom. It was a total disaster, Jesse. It is a miracle, a miracle, not only that Trump is alive, but that more good Americans were not killed. It's unbelievable. You're saying that the site agent in charge of this security in Butler wasn't checking IDs? What, what, what do you mean? She was just letting people in? That is what whistleblowers tell me, is that IDs were not checked to allow individuals into secure areas, Jesse. In other words, it was a total free-for-all. Whistleblowers portray to me a circumstance, a, a situation that was totally out of control, where people were milling around, including in what were supposed to be highly secure areas. Nobody knew who they were. By the way, it was also the lead site agent's job to make sure that the line of sight for where Trump was was clear, that agents could see all angles, and she didn't do that. In fact, I'm told that the line of sight was obstructed, which means that agents from different angles couldn't really see around Trump, couldn't see potential dangers to Trump. This is pretty textbook stuff, Jesse. And what whistleblowers say to me is none of it was done properly. None of it was done by the book. And frankly, when you know all that, it's amazing more people weren't killed. This person needs to be fired, as does anybody who had leadership on that day. This person is still doing security. They're still in charge of security for political events. Why, is, why aren't they sidelined and under investigation themselves? This is exactly what the whistleblowers who are coming to me, Jesse, want to know. And in fact, we know that this individual is still doing all those things because the director confirmed it. He told me under oath that, yeah, this individual is still working events. In fact, he said still doing investigations, which raises the question, <laughs> is she investigating herself? Right. I mean, this is insane. And I'll just say this, Jesse, sure. whistleblowers are coming forward from the Secret Service because they can't believe what leadership is doing. They cannot believe that the Secret Service is not taking action to clear out the rot, frankly. They're scared to death this is gonna happen again. We can't let it happen again. We've gotta get the facts. Was this site agent for Butler, was she one of these Cheadle hires? You know how Cheadle has an agenda, she just promotes people without merit. Was that person a person like that? I don't know the answer to that. All I am told by these whistleblowers is that this individual was inexperienced, that she was known to the campaign, to be, frankly, not very good at her job. They had concerns about this individual before the Butler rally. Again, hmm. when she was assigned to Butler, the campaign was worried. They thought, uh-oh, this has not gone well before, and my gosh, it didn't go well that day. All right, well, I'm, I'm very glad these whistleblowers are speaking out to your office. Please keep the public posted on, on some of these developments, because the more and more we hear about it, just the angrier I get. Thank you again.